You ready? Am I in this thing? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, my friends, welcome to another video here. Here with my dad at one of my favorite places on earth. We've got our, is this an eight foot boat? Eight foot boat. We've got our tiny little eight foot boat. We're gonna pound the shores for a little bit, see if we can't catch something big and then take the boat out. But we're after humongous bluegill and crappie and panfish with four pound line and ultralight outfits. Just a fun day with my dad, one of my favorite places on earth, one of my favorite things to do. Thank you guys for watching. There we go. Yes. It's a big pier bluegill. Oh, check this guy out. Isn't that gorgeous? Sweet. That guy is awesome. Look at all of his foreheads he's done. We're very, very, very late in the spawn right now. You can see all these beds in front of me, about three quarters of them are empty. And I'm trying to sight fish the few fish that are left on the beds. But a lot of fish are just on the first ledge out from these beds. And you'll find that in the summer and late summer, when the fish are done spawning, they'll go to the first drop off outside the beds and they'll stage there. So we'll cast out there and get bit too. There's one. Oh boy. I think it's a pure female bluegill. Yes, sir. far more often to catch the males up on the beds while they're guarding the nests and the females will hang out deep and when the females come up to drop their eggs they'll spend a little bit of time with the males on the bed but then they'll go out to deeper water so you almost always always get your females in a little bit deeper water Oh my gosh, holy smokes. This guy is crazy big. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, look at this thing, oh my gosh, holy smokes, oh it's unbelievable. That massive red ear sunfish, his tail's red from spawning, you can see he's just super, super, super thick. That is a monster red ear sunfish, he's got a big helmet up there. Thought he was a hybrid, but I think that's just a pure male red ear. Wow. Whoa, man. That guy is thick. Crazy how they congregate. Do you think it's like the characteristics of the, of the lake bed and all that are just perfect right there? Or do you think one decides to make a bed and the other one just like to be around. I think it's both because it's always right here and never right there. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That and they, they have a lot better chance of the bass and minnows and stuff not eating them if, if they're in a in All a together. Yeah. Well, those pictures so dark. I don't even know if they're in. See 
a big bad, and I don't know if there's a fish in it or not. I know. Then that happens. There's a giant. Is that a gill? Yeah. It's massive. That's the biggest, I was just, oh my gosh. I thought it was a bass. Where did it bite? Right, I cast it right down the middle there and I was trolling for bass. And he hit it. That's bigger than, is that bigger than the one I caught last year? I don't know, I think so. I mean, it's it just, he's bumpier, you it's know. It's right there. Jeez, Dad. All right, guys, I was fishing somewhere else and Dad caught this insane hybrid bluegill. Hold him out to me. He's not the best at holding them, so we'll get some, some shots of me holding them too, but that is huge. Congrats, Dad. I wasn't there for the catch. I was out fishing somewhere else, but he started screaming and I come over and this is what he's got. Gorgeous That's fish. That's insane. Like I said, I'm holding Dad's fish, but it is... It is just insane, Dad. That is crazy. That is my... That's your PB. That is my PB. Bigger than any crappie you've ever caught. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's crazy. All right, we'll get him back. And you want to let him go, Dad? All right, that is... Incredible fish. Look at him. Man. Holy smokes, Dad. Jeez. So that's a good spot to stay away from the castaway. Yes. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Wait, is that a bass? No, it's a gill. Little hybrid blue gill. Oh, it's a green sunfish. <laughs> Look at this. So the huge fish you caught, mm -hmm. this is what he's crossed with. Oh, okay. I see he's got a huge mouth and he's got the yellow fins. That monster that dad caught had those yellow fins and whatnot. It was a cross between a pure bluegill and a pure green sunfish. This is a green sunfish, a very, very large one. You can see he's got a big mouth. The ear tab is the perfect cross between them both. Just pretty cool hybrid that dad caught and this is the green sunfish of the hybrid. I don't know if that made any sense or not, but we'll go with it. All right, my friends, I caught that giant red ear and I thought that was for sure gonna be the biggest panfish of the day, but dad's was the biggest one you've ever caught in your life, undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Probably bigger than any crappie he's ever caught and it's either the biggest or the second biggest hybrid bluegill I've ever seen in my life. So one of the biggest panfish on this channel, for sure. Dad was stoked. I was super stoked for him. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. <laughs>